think I'm a little bit judgmental. I judge it and I try to get rid of the problems and I always want to see the, like control maniac, I want to see the further levels, further. That's okay. Uh, Actually, in the six hat technique, it did, black is a good thing, but there's a problem if it is overused. If there's too much negativity, uh, black represents the devil of advocate, which is good actually. But if you're overusing it, it's not good. Shimda, let's think about your attitude to drama, your viewpoint of this world. If it mm -hmm. is black, are you not using drama at all? Is that, is that what it means? Is that what it means? Uh, no, actually I always try to use drama uh, also, I have an idea like that. If I use drama in a positive way, I can change the way I think or I can change the situation. For example, sometimes I feel so uh, shy. Actually, I was really shy student when I was in school years. I was, I was too. I was too. I was always Absolutely. the silent one. And I was always telling myself, right now I'm like in a drama and I want to talk. And I'm the one who is speaking and I am a good speaker like that. I was always boosting myself. And then... Uh, it turned into something else. And when my um, parents came to uh, school, they always heard that, oh, she's so outstanding and she's always talking, she's good. And they were like, really, Bushra? She's so silent, she's so... Come on, Bushra, come on, Bushra, come on, Bushra. Okay. <laughs> Bushra got carried away. Okay, so that was the first one. Uh, there are people in the middle. Ne bileyim ya? Drama mı? Ama ne bileyim Allah aşkına ne draması? Okay, so white in uh, De Bono's model represents caution. But it is also facts, facts, give me facts. So are there people like that, teachers? Yes, definitely. Are you one of them? What is your viewpoint in the world of drama? Think for a minute. Are you, do you belong in that group? Do you see drama like this? Okay, and of course we have the red ones, like Sechil and myself, and maybe Sibel Oja as well. Definitely. Yes. <laughs> this is us, okay? So this is a continuum from black to red. It doesn't mean that you are in one particular group and you don't move into another group. That can change, specifically when it is before the before exam time, right? What do we turn into? We turn into booze people. Yeah. Okay. Demet says, I believe I belong to the red group. Okay, fine. Yes, Elif from Elif. Okay. Now, what is important in this viewpoint is understanding yourself. Are you really at peace with drama? It is called, it's, there's a concept uh, which I believe to be true. It is feeling the truth. Yani in your mind, you can read books, uh, you can look at the internet websites, you can gather all kinds of information. Cognitively, you are ready. However, when your midbrain, if your midbrain doesn't tell you it's true, it's not true. And when does it, when does your midbrain tell you? When you feel it right here in your heart. It's the feeling. So uh, in order to engage uh, in drama and move from black to white and then to red, you need to feel the truth. In the booze group, booze group, do you use any techniques at all from drama? Booze group, booze gibi olanlar. Buz gibi soğurum diyenler. <gülüyor> Hocam. Buyurun Sibel evladım. Hocam. <gülüyor> e, <gülüyor> although I might belong to the red group but ben I sometimes. Ben duymuyorum seni. Çocuğum ne diyorsun çocuğum? Hocam. Ne I var sometimes... evladım? Hocam. <gülüyor> yani this could be Hocam, a dramatic. Hocam I like. 
Dramatic I like well. drama, but uh, I sometimes feel it's too much for me. And uh, especially in class, I don't feel like I want to join in any. I just feel like, oh, come on, leave me alone. You resort back to the black yeah. group. Okay. Well, when you are in your black state of mind, what are some of the stuff that you can use? What I would like to share your experience, uh, 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 share your experiences. What do you use? There's a hint on the screen, of course. In a drama classes, what I use is that the question. Yes, uh, if you are feeling in your booze group mode, if you are feeling in your black mode, aman istemam istemam drama drama istemam. When you're feeling like that, what can you use? You can use warm-up exercises. Yeah? Yes. Thank you. Hmm. See back, uh, we can use uh, warm-up classes and uh, sometimes we use uh, drama as a speaking practice as well. Okay. Uh, now, if, if you're going to do a speaking practice, what kind of a warm-up exercise can you do, which is also a healthy technique for the body. You can do deep breathing, yeah? Yeah. Uh, many people think it's spiritual, but no, breathing is not. It is, a, a, it is an essential technique for drama. What do you do? You breathe in through the nose and you breathe out through the nose. And let's do it to a count of five. Breathe in, one, two, three, four, five. Hold, one, two, three, four, five. Breathe out, one, two, three, four, five, okay? Let's do mm -hmm. it, ready? Okay. The longer you breathe, the better it is for your body. Oxygen comes in through your body. Yeah, and it's something very small. I mean, we tend to forget it, don't we? That's there right. are so, yeah. so many kinds of warm up exercises on the internet. There's a whole world. So, you can choose so much, uh, so many stuff. Okay. Um, right. If you can have warm up exercises, you can also have winding down exercises. Now, when do we use a warm up exercise? I call it exercise because physic, uh, it, um, drama requires physicality. So it needs to be something physical. Even reaching up and picking apples is a physical activity. It, it, it has physicality, okay? Or I can do TPR commands. If, you, if you're working with young children, what do you do? Stand up. Sit down. Okay, let's do it. Jump. Okay, let's do it. Stand up. Everyone stand up. Sit down. Okay, raise your left arm. Okay, raise your right arm. Okay. Yeah. Wiggle, 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 <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. Okay, so that's just a warm up. Vicky, is it linguistic? Does it have linguistic aims? No? You don't need to. Drama includes both linguistic and non linguistic aims. Coming back to winding down exercises. The act, hello, Elif, Elif is in. Um, winding down exercises, what kind of exercises are these? Must be physical. I think. Yeah, sure, can be physical. It can be non-verbal also, no mm -hmm. language. What I frequently do, what I like doing is have like six students carrying an imaginary glass top from one corner of the classroom to the other corner of the classroom, okay? And if we're going to carry it, obviously we need to hold it at the same level, okay? Shall we try it online? I've never tried it online. Yes, come on, let's try. Şimdi arkadan geliyoruz arkadaşlar. Kalkın. Kalkın bakalım. Taşlayabiliriz mi? Nasıl taşıyacağız? Hadi herkes tutsun bir tarafından. Tutsun bakalım. Evet. Sağa doğru gidiyoruz. Herkes sağına doğru gidiyor. Düşünme. E, 
Elif düşürüyorsun. Elif öyle bir taşı oradan mı taşınır çocuğum? Her gün gidiyoruz hadi. Okay. Well done. Big round of applause. So with a little imagination, I think what you can do in the classroom. Did you enjoy this? Yes. Yes. Yani with a little yeah. creativity and imagination, I think you can turn face to face. <coughs> sorry. Face to face activities into online activities. Or as my grandson says, online activities. Online. Online. Oh, online. that's nice. That's nice. Okay. Songs. Peki, do you do songs in the classroom? Chat bakıyorum. Yes, we do. Yes. What kind of songs do you do? Songs related with the linguistic features we teach to our students or mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe the topic themes about the topic or the themes. And songs include TPR activities like dancing and songs. I do it very frequently. Mm -hmm. And that's all. Mm -hmm. Also, um, Sitchin did her MA thesis on uh, using songs and drama in the classroom. And the, the students prepared their own videos, which was fantastic. Um, I was her advisor. And Thank you. Great thesis. 2016, you can check, check it online. Puppets. Hang on, I forgot my puppet. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Paco. What's your name? You. What's your name? I'm asking you. Sitchin. <laughs> uh, also, it's not a very shade. It's uh, kind of, it looks nasty a bit, doesn't it? Hmm. Oh my nephew my is crazy about these kind of puppets. <laughs> so puppets, who uses the puppets? Teachers. I also use puppets. Uh, it came along with the course book and the students uh, loved it. There was, for example, Gogo Loves English. That's a very old uh, course book. Uh, and uh, I remember in the end, they gave us a small key ring with gogo and i use it as a prize for uh, my students i said whoever uh, gets the for example uh, most number of students i'm going to give gogo as the um, first uh, prize that will be an award and they loved it so much and every time i went into the class with gogo go -Go, the whole class got crazy it was okay so this is a puppet that the teacher has, right? That's yes. one puppet. Vicky, yes. uh, have any of you prepared, ask the students to prepare their own puppets and keep them on the desks? I have did it. Anyone? I, I did it. I did it too. Did okay, does the puppet stay uh, on their desks? Yes, I did it when uh, I was a primary uh, school teacher for one year. That's good. That's and really you can also uh, use the puppet to elicit feelings. Hatta, mm -hmm. if it's a student, if there's a student with special needs, then you can ask the puppet instead of the student. So keep that in mind. Uh, the teacher having her own puppet is very good. But I think it's, it's a great idea to ask students to prepare their own puppets and keep to them. And maybe you can ask directly the puppet instead of the student about their feelings when there's a problem. Okay, so do you use stories at the Shay in storytelling? Of course. Yes, I do. Of course. Yes, sure. Sure. Okay. So Nebilim Group, Nebilim Group, Aradaki Nebilimciler, Beyazcılar. I'm sorry, uh, Nur says students want to play with it. Let them play with it. Uh, we have a new family member. It's a kitten. 
and I'm discovering a whole new world imitating what the kitten does, especially the way she stretches. I'm learning a lot from the kitten. And I think the kitten wants to play all the time. But it's a matter of educating the kitten as well. So you can time the students, a time when they want to play with it, a time when they, don't, when they can't play with it. You can say the puppet is bored, like kitten. The kitten doesn't want to be caressed and held uh, all the time. She comes when she wants to, as you all know, as, as cats do. Okay, fine. So songs, ne bileyim gruptakiler songs da yapabilir. Yani in the black group, you can start with songs if you like, or if you're not in your black mood, you can use songs. Puppets again, storytelling. Now, creative movement is something that we use a lot with young learners, but not only with young learners, with adults also. So what do I mean by creative movement? Chat. <laughs> creative Chat. movement. Hello. Um, from creative movement, do you mean? Uh, I didn't understand actually, but um, I. What, what kind of activity in class is it? What do you think? As a warm up activity, sometimes I feel my students they are not willing to do something or drama or standing in front of classroom because they are shy and I put them into uh, a horse movement. I want them to be a horse, what they want, a noble horse or, you know, expensive horse or just a horse uh, living in a village horse. And they are trying to uh, move like a horse and uh, create sounds. It's a little bit loudy, but um, when I put a, a control mechanism into there and when I do that sound, for example. Okay, what is the control mechanism? What do you use? Control mechanism, sometimes I want, if I want them to uh, understand when to stop, if my uh, aim is that, I sometimes uh, give them to this, like, when you hear this noise, please stop. And this means that you have to stop and we continue right. to because something else. It's no good telling the students to stop. Uh, mm -hmm. If you associate the word mm -hmm. stop with uh, music, mm -hmm. with a hand clap, or with a hat, if you like, because that is silent. So mm -hmm. if you wear a hat like this, for example, yeah. Yeah, I'm not saying wear a fez, but I'm doing it for this komiklik olsun diye. So silently, yani you, your voice is not polluting the class atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Because when you say stop, you're also making noise. You're also, oops, creating noise. Okay, fine. Uh, yes, uh, Dusha, creative movement is exactly that. Young children love it. I have written an article about it. You can imitate the animal movements all the time, not only with um, children, but also with adults. Um, I did uh, a course for the teachers at an elementary school, uh, elementary school teachers, not English teachers, and they were really very, very black at the beginning. They didn't want to um, engage in the activities. But after a certain while, like a week or so, this was a three week course, um, I had them laying on the floor, uh, getting into animal movements and even, even making out animal sounds. Mm. So it's- Bena Hoca. Yes. Uh, is it okay if I ask a question? Sure. Um, I did a mannequin challenge sort of activity with my students a couple of years ago, and I would like to ask if that would be counting as a creative moment. Okay, what activity. is that activity exactly? If you Do you remember it? like five or six years ago, a mannequin challenge was very uh, popular uh, on the internet. Uh, a video was shot while everybody st uh, stood as they were still, mm. uh, like mannequins. Mm. Um, so I, I was teaching present continuous tense. Mm -hmm. So I removed one of my students outside of the classroom and I asked the rest of the class to pose and stand still. Uh, and I asked this student to come back in and I told him to look around and uh, tell me what they are doing. 
Excellent. One of the, do you know, uh, Demet, do you know what that's called? Um, I guess it would be a considered as a creative moment activity. So it that's why be, I wanted to ask. It could be, uh, but if you freeze it, it's called a frozen tableau. Mm. Tableau gibi, yani in Turkish okay. tableau. And it's a great activity. I love it. Uh, I try all kinds well, of things. I didn't read it from anywhere. I, I, it just came to my mind. Uh, I just made it up because um, I saw, I, I saw, I all, all the time my students would ask me, teacher, can we do a video of mannequin challenge so mm -hmm. we can upload uh, on the internet? I don't know, Instagram so or you, Twitter. You called it mannequin challenge. Yeah, because Excellent. that's what they are. A big round of applause for them. <laughs> Excellent. Well done. I invented I, it somehow. I read I, it. From the books, you hmm. found it yourself. Sana yeah. gelmiş yukarılardan bir şey. <laughs> well done. Uh, it's it's called you. a frozen tableau. And I try all kinds of crazy things using drama. At the end of a training, a 15-day training, this was in uh, like 10 years ago in uh, Samsun, I think, yeah. Uh, there were like 50 participants. I placed them into three groups and I said, do a frozen tableau of what you have learned in these uh, three weeks or, or two weeks. Tabii herkes biraz homurdandı önce, homur, homur, homur. But yeah, in the end, <laughs> that was beautiful because the, when the first group had their tableau, they're frozen, the, the two other groups can make suggestions and can ask, huh, is that what we learned? Çok güzeldi, good, okay. Creative movement is usually movement. But you can also imitate the movement of any uh, person, if you like. Uh, how does the queen walk, for example? Or how does a king walk? If you are doing a role play activity, for example, that is great to do as preparation. Okay, let's get going. Pantomime. So, ne bileyim grup, pantomime kullansanız hoşunuza gider miydi? Ya da ne bileyim modundaysanız, pantomime. Okay, oops, sorry. Uh, using Web2 tools, maybe they create cartoon. Houghton, maybe, yeah, that's a very good suggestion from Didam. Mm -hmm. Very good suggestion. Okay. Pantomime is great. Yani, we use pantomime, right? How do we use it? Well, is it play? Sorry? Is a game? As a Sometimes. game? Sometimes. Like the mime box, maybe? Yes. And you write the mimes and the students some of the students them. act out and others know what he or she is she wants to mean okay Secho, bize bir tane göster. let's let's guess what Secho is doing okay <laughs> tea you're drinking tea yes breakfast Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> no. Coffee, I'm drinking coffee. Hi, coffee. Oh, <laughs> yes. okay. It, it can be tea, coffee. Like, be more delicious. Yeah. All right. Okay. Nur, are you available? Are you online? I mean, are you, are, is your camera on? Maybe you could do, do us a miming. Peki, o zaman Elif, I'm going to ask you one more quick miming. Yes. I couldn't uh, catch it. Uh, can you do? Can you mime yeah. an action so that we can because, get? Uh, ah, Noor. Yeah. Hi, hello. Ah. Can you mime <laughs> us an action so that we can guess the action? Hmm. I can do if she. Okay. <laughs> Listening? No. <laughs> speaking feel... with someone else speaking surprised shocking thinking rainy a weather situation what surprised surprised I watching think. watching tv hi oh, yeah. 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 actually nowadays we are feeling so <laughs> when we watch okay, tv well done Nur. well done exactly. okay uh pantomime <laughs> now there there's a great document that I would recommend you to look at uh, by the title Crazy Animals and... Oh. 
free resource. Thank you. Okay, pr crazy animals and other activities for teaching young learners. BC sources are great. You can always check out for BC sources. This is a 2012. Uh, Shimdi, if I can, I'm going to show you. Uh, we open the options View options. Oradan yapabilirsin. Evet. You can do it. View options. Stop video mu? Yok. Ne? Hide self view. Spotlight. Um, rename. Stop video diyor. Uh -uh. And what do you actually want to do, Hocam? I have it on my computer. And I want to show. New share mı acaba? Share screen. Share, bunu kapatıp başka açacaksınız o zaman hocam. New share. Ha, tamam. Değil mi? Evet, evet. New share. O zaman ekranınızda görünecek hocam. Seçeceksiniz yukarıdan. Ya da bunu komple kapatıp yaparsınız. O, o zaman, zaman şöyle seçeceğim. yapalım. After I finish my presentation. Sibel, you remind me. I can okay. show it after I finish. Evet. Teknolojiyi right. karıştırmayalım problem. şimdi. Okay, so this is a great resource that you can make use of if you want to use um, dramatic activities. But remember, if you're using uh, games, for example, games, is it black or white? Yani games, drama white. Hmm. White, maybe, but good for black as well. But for white. <gülüyor> Very good, yeah. <gülüyor> yani dokunma bana drama iste mi benden buz grubuna iyi gelir game çok iyi gelir hem de. Yes, exactly. Or sometimes when you are in your black mood, um, that can help you. There's one thing about games. Is uh, how are drama games different than usual games? Maybe acting out is not included in some of the games, like Web2 games or like Kahoot or other games like Taboo. Mm -hmm. Taboo in Taboo drama is included, sorry. Some of the games it's not included. Maybe you, you gave difference. very good examples in Kahoot. Is the learner using his body? No. Is the learner using uh, their emotions? No. Yeah, maybe they feel uh, happy when they win, when they score points, but they're not actually using their bodies. Mesela, there is a mime uh, game. It says, um, what was it called? Uh, grandpa's footsteps. Hmm. Now, grandpa stands in the middle of the room and the students uh, stand behind him. They are creeping on the grandpa, okay? So when grandpa makes a move, they make a move. <laughs> But the grandpa shouldn't see them. That's yeah. an excellent. So it is called a game, but is there competition? Do you win scores? No, Not really. So conventional games are games, but drama games include using the body and feelings. Şimdi. Hareket bereket grubu hırt işte bizler hırt grubuyuz. Değil mi? Evet. Storytelling. I love storytelling. I love it. So, what kind of stories do you tell and what kind of storytelling techniques do you use? I use fairy tales so much. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I teach short stories and let the students finish the end of the story. Yes, or exactly. Change change the end of the story, act out as well. Unfortunately, yes, Hocam. <laughs> okay. Have you heard of Story Jumper? Check it out. No. Story yeah. Jumper is great. You can write your own story. You have the mm -hmm. pictures. You can design the Probably. pictures. Ah, also, yes, yes. Huh, students can write their own stories. Picture stories. Okay. What 
picture stories, okay, but it doesn't have to be. You can create your own stories, uh, mm -hmm. your own pictures. So what I like is take a familiar story and put it in a different setting and retell the story. Mm -hmm. Mesela, uh, what are some of the stories that Lisa students read, Sicil? Mm, they, I teach them English literature as well. I okay. teach them short stories by O. Henry. Okay. Um, I don't know what exactly, I don't remember the names, but I think I taught them Little Prince as a short okay. story and they loved it very much. Okay, so take Little Prince and take it into a different setting. Yeah, maybe we can have a happy ending for that story. Yeah, but also change the setting. Yes. Okay, so where is the little prince now? It's a statue. It was it. Ha, now I have changed. Yani uyduruyoruz. Yeah, yes. exactly. Where it's is... not a. It's not a statue. It was. It used to be a statue, but, but I changed alive. the setting. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's alive. alive. Exactly. So where does it live? He lives in maybe. <laughs> yes, some place um, which is so wealthy on the contrary to its exact uh, context, for example. Okay. In the original story, does the little prince have a um, have siblings? No, he was. Okay, so um, we can add siblings. Yes, maybe. Yeah, exactly. That creates fun. And perhaps uh, the reason why I am in the red group, Areket Hurt group, is that um, it gives, it makes me have fun. I like drama for very selfish reasons. I have fun. And when yeah. the teacher has fun, the learners have fun. The, the energy is contagious. Yeah? Exactly. They catch up yes. on it. Okay. Slowly <clears throat> moving on. Role play, improvisation, and simulation. Now, this is for the red group. If you are in your black mood or black mode, obviously, I wouldn't advise you to try it. I would advise you to try those um, warmers or winding down activities, blah, blah, blah. Simulation, is that possible to do in the classroom? Is it really uh, possible to set up simulation in the classroom? Yes, it's possible. Okay, well, Rabia sorry. says, I'm sorry, we can create modern version of the stories. Tabi hep var ya Cinderella'lar filan falan modern versions, okay? Simulation is difficult to create in the classroom because simulation means it's very real to real life. So I don't normally use stimulation. And if the students are uh, linguistically uh, proficient, then I use improvisation. So role play is what I use most of the time. So a preparatory technique is hot seating, a preparation for the role play. Do, do you all know what hot seating is? Mm -mm. You pull the chairs. Sorry. You pull the you pull the chair. You put lots of chairs in the middle. There's a game like that, but I'm not that's sure. Musical that's musical chairs. Like... <laughs> musical <laughs> chairs. That's also a very nice game, actually, and it yeah. is dramatic because you're using your body. No, hot seating is either before or after a role play. You put one student on a chair, Tabiki and you ask questions about his character. Mesela şimdi diyelim ki, Seçil, what is the latest uh, role play you did in your class? Uh, my, I, my, I did. I played, um, I remember, I played uh, out, I acted out a poetry of Shakespeare. No, um, I mean your students. What? My students acted out something about um, Greek mythology. Well, and the last one character that they played? Um, I really don't remember. It was last year. They were, wore special clothes and okay, they- so t Tell me a Greek character. Who could be a Greek character? 
Hercules. Maybe they were. Um, Elif, you said something. Hercules, for example, a Greek yeah. character. Yeah. Okay. Gods and goddesses. Uh, Her Hercules. Hercules. Yok yok. Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> Okay. One of them so, was Aphrodite, Aphrodite or something. Aphrodite, yes. Aphrodite, Aphrodite. Okay, let's take Aphrodite. She is supposed to be very pretty, right? So, mm -hmm. Sitchin is my student now, and I'm putting her on the hot seat. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Sitchin, what did it? This is Alise now, not young learners. Sitchin, how did it feel like uh, to be in uh, Aphrodite's role? Mm -hmm. And uh, how did how does it feel like how, to be? How did it feel? Uh, you finished your role play. You mm -hmm. acted out as Aphrodite in the role play. Mm -hmm. um, so how did it feel to act out as Aphrodite? Amazing! I became a different character, total different character, not Sicil at all. Mm -hmm. um, I prepare myself before getting into the class in the door um, to put myself. Okay. Do any of the others, let's say that this, we kept this up, ask her questions. Do any of you in the class want to ask her questions about her role? In university, actually, I was in, at, we were playing Oedipus in drama class. We had an ELT course like this. And uh, after Oedipus, we were asking the Oedipus and Oedipus's father and the others, uh, Oedipus's mother, they were characters and they were sitting in front of us, whole class, and we were asking about their characters and they were talking about uh, their characters on their own. And they okay. were telling us- now, this is idea. usually uh, taking one person and mm -hmm. having all the students ask questions to Only that one. person. Yeah? But is it so, like a backstage of the film or something? I what mean, do you mean because... backstage? Backstage, no, okay, backstage, I mean. Backstage, yes, absolutely, absolutely. And <coughs> you can do Is it, it about the room? as preparation or after the activity, whichever you like. I think it's great either way. Yeah, yes. Before the, Ozama, before the activity, Ozama, you change the way you ask the question. You're gonna say, okay, what do you think it feels like to be Aphrodite? Better. <laughs> Yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> yes. Now, I'm gonna finish off with a drama model that's called Mantle of the Expert, uh, which is actually an educational tool. It's not a tool for uh, teaching uh, learners English. It's a great method, but it takes more lessons and the students need to visit real places. Please check it out. It's by a woman called Heathcote. Heathcote, the open mirror, Heathcote. And <clears throat> I love uh, the mantle of the expert approach, but it's like extensive. It can be done outside the classroom. Sitchin, this would be great for you. Okay, I took a photo. Right, fine. Thank you. So final words, when you are, uh, Doing role play, as we've discussed, the setting is important. The characters are important. Mesela şöyle diyaloglar var, course booklarda. A, how are you? B, fine, thank you. A, no, sorry, B, how are you? A, thank you. B, goodbye. A, goodbye. <laughs> No, for God's sake, how many in life do we come across any dialogues like this? No. Do you don't. have any friends called A or B? No. <laughs> and also, um, there should be a conflict in your dialogue. Uh, poor boy, rich girl, maybe. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, one, one has something, one has information that the other doesn't. Like I have a, a drama, Vaktimiz olsa bunu Sibel'le yapacaktık ama, which I call Gelin Gaynana. It is the bride and the mother-in-law, but I've uh, modified Gelin uh, Gaynana. It is to 
uh, uh, practice the present perfect tense, gainana always asks, have you done the bed? Have you made the beds? Have you done the, have you cleaned the kitchen? Have you done this? Have you done that? And the gilin, the bride, who is seven months pregnant, always replies, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. So it's just a very simple form of conflict. There's a conflict. Props. Halil Cibran, wow. Ama bir şey diyecektim. Props. Um, some of my props, Seçil knows, I love my props. This is one, for example. We have pictures. We have pictures. With the... <laughs> yes. Or we can go to a ball. <laughs> Christmas ball or uh, what was that TV series? Upstairs, downstairs. <laughs> I'm upstairs. Or you can use the same thing for a singer. <laughs> this is Hurra. Yes, it is. Gözüme girme. Very beautiful. <laughs> you know, I collect stuff from wherever I go. This was on a trip to uh, Mevşehir. And in one little market, supermarket, the guy was selling these in the corner for peanuts. It was so cheap. So you have this and the fez. Where is the fez? Okay. So imagine... Why am I using these props? What kind of a role play? It's about sultans and uh, maybe Ottoman Empire. Sure. Yes. But I am exaggerating. You maybe can also you say a very, yeah, no, yes. You said uh, maybe we are uh, talking about past tense or uh, present perfect tense. Oh, yes. Past, past, uh, past perfect. The yeah, you say as well. The characters could be an elderly woman, grandma, and grandpa. Mm -hmm. And there is a third character, their grandson. But their grandson is into Instagram and Facebook and walks around with his mobile. So these people are old. Students like these props. So they don't have to literally show what they show. And the conflict here would be, what would be the conflict? Generation gap. Yes, exactly. Okay, I think... Uh, or traditional clothes, modern clothes. Yeah. Oh. Yes, oh, this is my nice. style. <laughs> so beautiful. Yeah. When shall we three meet again in thunder, lightning, or in rain? It's a famous quote from Shakespeare's uh, Macbeth, the three witches. Uh-huh, witches. Okay, so... Uh, dum, 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 dum. I think that's quite a, quite some piece of advice. Can you see it? Yes. Yes, we can see. One, Secho. Ses, ses, gitti ses. I, I took a picture. Yes, I took a picture too. I think that's a wonderful quote. I think as teachers, that will, that's what we should strive for. You're all familiar with Kahlil uh, Gibran, I, I assume, yes? Yeah. Wonderful quote. Bunları geçiyoruz. 
Mm. Now, if you're interested, I've put some references. But are, is that legible? Uh, a little bit. Maybe you can uh, take the picture of it and send it to me and I can share it with uh, our friends. Okay. okay, I will do that. Um, the latest one is a 2020... 21 book farmer Adamant. farmer uh, there was a farmer somewhere farmer david farmer 2021 book yes yeah, no farmer okay i'll send that also it's a 2021 book Drop a Hat is the name of the book. It is a great book. Mm -hmm. uh, I had found him from a link okay. called Drama Resource. Please note these, these are their wonderful ideas. Okay, so I want you to close your eyes now. I'm going to say goodbye to you in my own way. Okay, please close your eyes. You're waiting. Okay. <clears throat> As I leave you now, I leave you with tears of joy that I've had this time with you. I see on the horizon more chances of communication, relevance, more real cooperation. Thank you for having joined me in this way. If there are things that you want to say to anyone in this room, in your mind's eye, say them now. If there are things you wanted to tell me, tell me now. When you are ready, say goodbye to what we've had and hello to what can happen. You can open your eyes. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, thank you. Thank, thank you. you very thank much you. for your effort. Thank you. You're most welcome. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't think we have time for any questions, Dima. Mm -hmm. No, I'm afraid we're. Uh, it, it's uh, seven minutes past already, so we don't have time. I'll just add uh, one thing, Ojam. Uh, we can use this. Uh, we can uh, enrich our classes by using a variety of drama techniques, yeah. not just for young learners. Uh, the world. People of all you ages. Have the world. Uh, and uh, if there are uh, students who are resistant at the beginning, who do not want to join in any activities, uh, do you think they join, they get convinced, and they join in later on? Yes. But if you are in your black mode, no. Mm -hmm. If you are in your white mode, no. If, in your, if you're in your red mode, yes. Energy is contagious. Yes. So if a teacher says, my students are not interested in drama, I always think, is that really true? Mm. Is that really true? Yeah. If it's the energy that you are conveying to them, that means you've got to turn inside and ask yourself am i in my black mood or gelm buz mood yeah okay thank you, thank you very much thanks uh, thank you so much bye everyone
It's it was a very beautiful thing. session. Yes. Thank you. Bye, very energetic teacher. Thank you. Bye.